another person I have to thank, well, there's several more, but um, with, with in second in line, but certainly not in heart, and and uh, contributions to music and to the the air of the Beale Street uh, scene is Mike Glenn. <laughs> Mike Glenn is third generation on Beale Street. He came to the he came to the job as a boxing promoter, and he gives Jim. I think I'm correct in saying this. He he guided Jim. I mean, Jim guided him into being one of the most unsung heroes of the Memphis music scene ever. Yay. Because he brought in every young band you can think of that needed a venue, that needed some support, that needed some experience, and he said, go for it. DDT would not have existed very long at all without my support. And he would, uh, he, he, they'd play down here, there'd be six people in the audience. He'd say, oh, come on back next week, next next month. It's going gonna, it's gonna to build. And then, of course, with the All-Stars, um, it, it was like 20 people, then 200 people, then 2,000 people, and it had legs of its own. But the, the expertise that the boys and I say boys, my sons, my young, beautiful young men, uh, musicians and record producers extraordinaire. Without my Glenn, I don't think they would have had it so easy when the All-Stars hit because